couple of friends. Look at this sketchbook spread I just did. I'm so obsessed with it. And I just posted a reel for it. Um, anyways, a welcome back to another studio slash artist vlog. And we're going back into shop update mode for this one. So I'm planning to have a Valentine's Day slash February shop update. Not sure like when because I do want to outsource my stickers and prints. Yeah, we have totally a lot to do, which is exciting. And you guys will obviously be coming along with me. This might be a long video, a grab a snack, get comfortable, come hang out with me. And we're gonna have so much fun. So yeah, let's get into it. I want to make a pin in honor of my sweet mochi bun so I designed one on Procreate and I'm going to bring it up on Illustrator so this is it because there's that one picture of her like flopped really cute and I really loved that photo and she loved strawberries and I want to do something that's like I love you so mochi and she's like shaped like a little mochi oh it's so cute so I'm gonna to have to send this to the manufacturer soon so I could get those pins made in time. All right, I'm doing my stories for <laughs> making some pictures for my stories for my December slash January reading update. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm giving you guys a little behind the scenes of how funny I look when I'm taking photos of stuff. These are the books that I've read so far um, in December slash January, and then I also have two audiobooks, which obviously I can't really take a picture of. Check out my reading highlight to get a close up there. And then all like the little story covers look so cute. With the new one, I still have to change my profile picture, but that's one thing checked off for today. Good morning guys! I'm feeling good today. Got a good eight hours of sleep and I just finished up my morning meeting so I was like let me just vlog a little bit. I did Paloma the Peaches Draw to Your Style and I love how it came out. I love like the landscape and the flower. It's like everything I love to draw. And then this morning, so what I did with the mochi pin, so I sent in three quotes to three different pin manufacturers just to like gauge like pricing which one's the best pricing, which one offers the best services, stuff like that. And I did receive one proof back and it actually looks really good. Let me show you. This is what the proof looks like. And as you can see, there's like, they're missing one line in the strawberry. So I send this back. But yeah, I'm just gonna wait until like the other companies send me back a proof. And then like, I'm just gonna compare prices, see what's the best. Cause I don't wanna buy a hundred pins again. Cause last time that was way too many. I still have like inventory for them. So I wanted to try to go for 50 pieces and that gets like kind of expensive. Oh my gosh, I've had so many meetings today. Finally, I'm done. I've been in meetings for like three hours. I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna take lunch right now and I think I'm gonna sit outside maybe, like get some vitamin D because I've not been outside in like a week. Alright guys, first order of business. I asked you guys on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I asked my followers a lot of things on products and stuff, so definitely check it out, I'm really active on there. Um, so I asked you guys, I'll pull it up right here, which one you guys prefer, and then you guys chose this one with darker colors and some flowers. And then I kind of didn't like how I did those flowers, so I redesigned it a little bit. This is the final product. Obviously it's not gonna be this big, not this big, it's gonna be like this big, but I love the pin, I think it's so cute and so nice for sweet mochi. So I just sent that off to the manufacturer. 
we can check that off the list. And next order business is to do inventory. So let's move over to my desk. I've written down everything in my store as of now. So I'm going to go ahead and count everything. Let's start counting. Hello, hello. I just finished packing two more orders. I love when I get a random order. Um, it's so fun. So I'm gonna drop them off. And I woke up this morning like craving coffee. So I think I'm going to walk to the coffee shop because I ran out of oat milk so I couldn't make coffee at home. So yeah, we're gonna take a little walk. It seems like a very nice day out. I opened all the windows in my room today so it's nice and sunny. guys it is a saturday i mean what am i saying it's sunday I had a very chill day cleaning, doing laundry cleaned all morning i got some coffee read a little bit at the coffee shop i just started the secret history by donna tart and yeah um got some food and now gonna spend the rest of the sunday drawing and i have five orders to pack so thank you guys for ordering stuff from my shop I'm gonna pack those now and then maybe try to do some sketchbooking and film that before the sun goes down because it's already like two o'clock and it snowed a lot this weekend so there's a lot of snow outside and yeah ready to have a cozy day <laughs> got some stuff in the mail i got a bunch of stamps like Valentine's Day ones these ones cute I wish they had more of the frog ones but I like these 
cabins ones too, but I like these cabin ones too. I like to keep the chipboard for like prints and stuff, so they're not going to waste. I also know what this is too, and I think packaging is also very unnecessary for Cricut mats. Like they could have just shipped it in this. Yes. I finally got new Cricut mats. I think this one is like the strong grip. everyone had a good lunar new year if you celebrate sag i couldn't really see family because of snow and like traveling and stuff so i didn't get to eat a lot of yummy viet foods but that's okay um but i did draw a tiger i literally restarted it so many times and there was just something about it like i was getting too focused on the line work and sticking to my sketch and not being expressive because i think a lot of my art isn't really planned out um but this is the final result and i actually love it so much i just have to like not think about it you know like overthinking is my downfall but yeah i really love it i definitely will turn this into a print but i have been working today not really anything exciting um, it's February 1st and I planned my February a bit yesterday. Oh my god, wait guys, I also bought this really nice rug off of Etsy. Like I saw it and I was like, I freaking need that. So I'm excited for that to come in because I just needed a change in my room, I think. That's like the majority of my updates for now, I think. I just untangled this plant. And I didn't realize how long it is. It looks kind of scary with all the holes. It's like about to touch my head when I sleep. And like the other vine goes all the way up there. And then there's like this third one. It's so long, I didn't realize. Um, but anyway, I just had the best duck noodle soup from this place in Chinatown. It's like my favorite place. And it was so delicious. And I'm very sleepy right now. Um, but I think I'm going to finally catch up on my art slash reading journal like I've been mostly using it to oh well, I've been mostly using it as a journal and not the art and reading part so I'm going to catch up and write about my January reads because I read Today has been such a day full of meetings and such. Now I'm exhausted. I've been like on Zoom all day. But I did finish my wrap up in my art journal. First one I listened to was Everything About Love. And I like this page. I just had all my favorite quotes and it's kind of funny. I just drew this person like randomly and I kind of ended up looking at like my boyfriend. So 
that's funny. Um, and then the next book I read was Circe, and I love this page. Like, so many good visuals I could have used from Circe because she's like a witch. She does a lot of stuff with like nature and flowers and stuff. So yeah, lots of good visuals there. Um, and then I listened to This Is Your Mind on Plants by Michael Pollan. That book, he discusses three drugs. So first one is opium, coffee or caffeine, and then mescaline. And so I just drew these. I love how this page turned out. Like I love like the um, illustration and then all the quotes. Uh, I just think it looks really good. And I love the black and white. And Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney, which was such a good book. Um, it was so good. And I just used my rainbow colored pencil for this one. And I love this quote, like in the first couple pages. It's when Bobby talked about me, it felt like seeing myself in the mirror for the first time. And I thought that was like such a nice quote. Then the last book I listened to was Cultish by Amanda Montel. And this one is very crazy. Well, Cultish was about the language cults and cult-like groups use. Um, so it was very interesting. I thought this kind of like embodied a mind, a confused mind, you know? But yeah, that was my January reading wrap up. Um, I'm starting to get, I love this little journal. Like, it's so fun. I can't wait until I fill up all the pages with stuff. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. I have something really fun, really fun to show you. Really fun. I hit 10,000 followers on Instagram and actually YouTube too, which is so cool. Thank you guys so much for supporting my art, like always. We're all best friends, okay, who love art and stuff. So I wanted to do a drawing challenge because I haven't done one since I hit 1K like two years ago. And if you guys remember that, wow, that was a long time ago. But if you guys do remember that, it was like a frog and it was like its birthday party because it was my birthday. And then I had everybody like bring their own character like to the frogs party, which was really fun. And there were so many submissions. You guys are so creative. And then I was thinking I should do like all my favorite stuff. And then you guys could add your favorite stuff to your variation of the drawing. And I was doing some sketching and you know, like when you think like you're going to have to do a lot of sketches, but then you end up loving the first one. This is what ha that's what happened. So first, oh god, something's falling out of this. That's my resume. Um, I don't know why my resume was in there. Okay, so I wrote down all my favorite things. Frog, bunny, art painting, reading, eating, vlogging. Sorry, I just had a burp. I just ate a chocolate croissant. Um, but look, okay, this is the first one I did. And I was like, okay, this was absolutely amazing. Like the bunny is painting and then the frog is up here vlogging and holding a book. And then I was thinking like people could add in their own objects in the frog's hands. That would be so fun. And then, so I just redid it down here and it's so cute and fun. I think I definitely might make this a sticker too. Um, and by the time... This video goes up the draw this in your style will be up on my instagram so make sure to check that out if you want to participate i think i'm opening it until march 1st which is gonna be my next shop update okay don't tell anyone it's gonna be my next shop update i can't wait to see what you guys add ah uh, ah uh, so fun so fun surprise orders um i love getting a nice surprise order since i haven't like updated my shop in a couple months yeah we have a lot of packing orders in this video actually um so hello to all you new people who have found my shop uh thank you so much for making an order it's pretty cool i love having orders to pack yes i'm gonna do that now and then i have to get back because i have a meeting at 1 30 so we gotta do this quickly Four orders 
have been packed. I'm ready to go into the snow. And I'm debating whether I should get a coffee or not because I actually didn't pack them in time for my meeting. So I went to the meeting, it's 2.30 now. I'm just gonna quickly go to the, uh, I'm just gonna quickly go to the mailbox, I think maybe it's only two blocks away. But then the coffee shop is like another block away from there. So should I just go? Do I need coffee at 2.30? Maybe I do. I kinda just wanna go somewhere, you know? What the heck, I'll just go. Okay, let's go to walk. I posted my draw this in your style this morning and already you guys are putting in entries and I love this like twist on the challenge by adding what you love. It's so fun to see like everyone's differing interests and hobbies. So this one was really cute. Um, love this one with the workout edition. That's so fun. And this one is really cool and funky. Okay, I finally made a Twitch account and I'm checking out the ghost egg or Mary Ann's stream. There she is and her little farm. And I am having so much fun. I love her, Mary Ann, you're amazing.